Hello, I'm Shelly Duvall. Welcome back to my channel! Hi, how are you? So, a lot has happened since the last video. As you remember, oh, we had that unboxing one. But before that, I got two new models. And I finished both of them. Both? Both. All right, somebody's been busy. My bad, sorry. Just scoot back then, I guess. I knocked the table. Um, yeah, so, Zach hasn't seen them, and he didn't know that they were finished, because I didn't tell him. I've been saving all the updates for when we were online. Um, so, he's going to see them at the same time you are, audience. That's gone. Also, just to explain something, I'm using my computer, so I'm looking at the screen, looking at Zach, I, so I don't need to turn to him to talk to him. I'm looking, I'm looking at him in the screen. How disrespectful. We had some questions about that. That I should be facing you if I'm talking to you? I'm too pretty to look at you. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm watching me, watching you, watching me. Okay, so when we talk to each other, we need to be looking at each other in real life. Do we? I think so. Oh, just to not confuse the audience? Okay, well, on to the show. We unboxed the Gundam Death Scythe and Ultron Gundam. And, maybe most exciting, it came with... The pilots. Oh my god. And I thought it would be, they would be like the models where you just clip them together. No. I had to super glue them on there. Wait, what do you mean? They're super glued on there. Onto the base? Yeah. Oh. It's it not looks like, like it would come like that. No. I had to snip, snip them out of there, runner, and then... Like, you would think that they would just have a peg to stick in a hole or something. Like a Lego or the model. But no, there's nothing. It had to be super glued on there, so. Oh, and you can also... a girl. Is it? He's all man. He's, oh. he's the one who dresses like a priest. Um, well, he is a lovely French braid. Yeah. All the way down to his thigh. So, yeah. So, they... And all of my models and pilots now sit on my display shelf in my kitchen, where the decorative plates used to be. Um, and Zach has not noticed. He's walked by, and he's not seen them. Care to explain yourself? Listen. <laughs> I worked a 12-hour day today, and no, I did not notice. Oh. Sorry. No, I mean... It's dark. I mean, one of them's been up there for like a week. Oops. I'm not very observant, apparently. No. Or maybe I noticed and I just wanted to, you know, let you feel extra excited. Hmm. So, if you remember, the first one I did from the year 2014 was Wing Zero. Feel, feel the heft of this one. And look at the detail. Feel how heavy it is? Heft? Yeah. Feel it how... feels very light. Oh, just you wait. Um, it so. feels like... <laughs> it could launch. <laughs> um, yeah. So this one has more detail. It's heavy. Oh, heavy. And, well, so then look at the one I did first, the Gundam Death Side. Now feel, here's the final product. Is it lighter because it's cheaper? Yes. Yeah. I it, like high quality materials. This is lower quality. Here, feel how light it is. Okay. Now compare. Okay. <laughs> it's like twice as heavy. 
Yeah. But still, they are both very light. This one feels like nothing. And this one feels like nothing with a penny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, this one came with, like, remember how many runners it had? Those things with the little parts I just... It had, like, 15 runners. Or how many bags? But there are, like, five bags of a whole bunch. And then these two came with two bags with, like, six runners or something. So these are way more basic. Simple. Like me. <laughs> yeah. Like us all. Um, so yeah, you can tell the difference between 14 years of model development. There have been some significant improvements, I guess. Um, oh, see how loose his leg is? So yeah, these are way poor quality. Um, and... It's not painted. You have to paint things. And this one has a lot less detail. Wait, what do you mean paint? Like, are, is that supposed to be a color? Yeah, see, it's supposed to be like a beam, like. Oh. So yeah. like a neon green color. Yeah. Like with this one, it came with those beam savers that were soft plastic <laughs> pink. Um, Bless me. So yeah, this is just white and you have to paint it yourself. If you want it to be accurate. And That's too so much work. Yeah. This is All like, right. this is a beam also. Yeah. And then look at the pants. Not pants, but the skirt area. And then look at the box. The skirt area. Yeah. It's like he has a red V there, and then these are white. And look, it's just a solid color. So there's a lot less detail. I would agree with that. And in this one, it's different. Like, they put a lot more detail... Looks a lot better, um, heftier, um, no. So, the more recent one is better. Better. Super old ones that I probably would have gotten 20 years ago, but I didn't, that I saw on the shelf that are probably the same ones from the shelf that I saw. Um, poor quality, so I guess that's pretty good that I didn't do them then. Um. But it turned out fine. I like it. I think it looked good. You get stuff on my shelf so you can't see the detail really. And I don't plan on doing anything with them. So that was the Gundam Death Scythe. And then... Oh, and I did this in like two hours or something. In one sitting. Now, what are, what's the point of these? No point. Like the lighter one, it didn't even come with one. Like if you were to paint this... Mm -hmm. It just... You just display it next to the... Mobile suit. Uh, a model. It's so tiny. Yeah. Like what size brush? Like a, a piece of your own hair or something? Yeah. Hmm. It did come with a color guide though, I remember from one of those videos. So, but yeah, you're supposed to paint them and then just display the next two. Whatever. But this one took like two hours. I did it in one sitting and Remember when we went through the instructions? There were like 40 different steps. Yeah. This one? 12. 10. And you should have seen it. It had like 15 different parts all in one panel. So it was like, this one split to, into more steps. This one has fewer steps. And so it was kind of crazy. And by the end, of, I was quite frustrated with both of the two new ones. Because they, I did it for too long. I should have taken a break or something, but I was so close to being done. Ready to finish. Yeah. So, let's look at the other one that I did last night. Um, I'm scared. <sighs> Here it is. Ultron Gundam. That one looks better. You said it's still like the low quality one? Yeah. It's slightly heavier. It had more detail. It looks more fancy. Um, see, like this on the skirt, it had a sticker to go with it. Hey, you didn't put the sticker on? No, I mean, this one had stickers to put more detail, while this one did not have stickers for more detail. So this one is the most, has the least details. This Were one these has the same price? I think, I think this one was slightly more. It shows. Mm. 
And I was super frustrated at the end of this one because the other beam part, it doesn't fit on there. Hmm. No. So it does, it's supposed to be double bladed and it's not because it wouldn't stick on there and you have to paint it. And there's just supposed to be more detail, which you're supposed to paint, which why would you want to do that? And it came with a bunch of extra parts too. Hmm. I don't know why. I didn't explain. Like they thought you were going to break it? No. Like, let me just show you. But wait, there's more. There was more. I didn't know why. So there's like, see, this looks like the arm, right? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't go anywhere. And then it doesn't explain. And then look at the wrong box. It also came with another beam that is a color. Yeah. So why couldn't they just do all of them a color? And this doesn't go into anything. And then here's the other side of it that doesn't fit. It just doesn't fit. So it's gonna be single bladed, which I'm why not a fan of. Super glue it on, like I thought about it, like feet. I thought about like whittling that down. Whittling. But who wants to do that? You. Not I said the pig. No? Um, no. Yeah, so I was frustrated. But I think this one, this one has more detail. And it has more features, like it has this thing, like in the show, it shoots things. <laughs> you better not. So it has this, and his arms extend, look. You can have regular arms. Yeah. Or... Go, go, gadget. Yeah. And these are things, flamethrowers, they can... Look at that gold highlight, though. Yeah, that's a sticker. This goes back so it's not there, and then you can whip out his dragon arm and flamethrow. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. And these two pieces, they didn't really fit together, so I had to super move them, too, to get rid of, like, there's a gap for, for some reason. Oh, so... There have went through it. Mm. Yeah, there have been some advances in the model making world that now I know why these are so cheap because they're poor quality. But I think they'll look good on my shelf. So if you were to buy one of the kits that costs like eighty dollars, <gasps> are they better quality? Oh or yeah. Are they still like the cheap plastic like that? It's still the same plastic, I think. But oh, but like more stuff and like more yeah. steps and yeah. I think it, I think they're all like you just clip them out and stick them together. Are these all the same level of expertise? Yes, these are all. Oh, maybe this is before they even had like the labeling. See, this is HG high grade. High grade is like the simplest one that you like start out, but this is before they even had. The grades. The grade A beef. <laughs> yeah. So I think like the more expensive newer ones come with like a skeleton that you build and then you just clip on all these parts to the skeleton base type thing. So I don't know about that. But now I have three models which you can see. So, now I'm just missing two of the main Gundam Wing ones, plus some other ones. I want a Tall Geese and an Epion. But they don't have them at the store, so I don't know, guess I'll have to order them off the internet. And they have a, I think they have a bigger Sand Rock one there at the Hobby Town. But I don't know if I want to spend money on, that's like the most boring Gundam Wing one. Hobby Town. Yeah. USA. <laughs> No, I think USA is the one in Norman. Oh. Regular Hobby Town in Edmund is Hobby, Hobby Town. Town. Oh, I got an email from them with a sponsorship coupon. No, it was a coupon. Coupon code. Wonderfalls. <laughs> no one actually claimed the prize. Yep. That's Even... 10% off, by the way. Not, not really. Don't sue me. No. Not an ad. Um, yeah, I can get $29 off of 
My purchase of one hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Twenty. Uh, wait, what? Twenty nine dollars off if I spend one hundred fifty dollars. Worth it. <laughs> that I'll be down. No, if you see the model airplanes, or like those remote control airplanes, they're so expensive. Seven thousand dollars. No, like five hundred dollars. <gasps> yeah. It's more than I make in a year. <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, so I need to go get some more. I don't know if I should branch out from Gundam Wing and try something else, or... I'm sorry. You better be. You're, you're gonna be when we get home. Did you just pause talking because I accidentally barely bumped the table? No. I didn't. Um... So yeah, I need to go get another one. Maybe try a different grade. These are high grade. Or non-graded, because they're the cheaper, older ones. Maybe try something else. Maybe order off the internet. Who knows? Make a trip Not to Amazon, though. Why? I thought we were protesting Amazon. Like... Protesting like you say you're not gonna do it, but then you do it anyway. Yeah, I guess there are other websites. I guess I could, or who knows if Hobby Town can order them? That would involve talking to somebody, which they're excited to talk to people. Not really. I'm. Sh I don't know. I don't think they're into it. I read on the Google reviews that the old man that works there. I think he's into more model trains or airplanes or something, not the Gundams. So, mm. who knows? <sighs> if they had a texting service, I would text them before I call them or talk to them in person. Do they have a Facebook page? I'm sure. Facebook message them. Oh, uh, we'll see. My response rate is fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah. So, look forward to seeing another unboxing. If... I go back to Hobby Town. Or you should, you know, comment and let us know if you want us to do more unboxings or hauls in the food area. <laughs> right? Yeah. But your box comes once a month, right? I don't know if I'm going to share my box with you anymore. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I meant, like, we could go and, like, I don't know, buy snacks or something and Try it. Mm hmm Just for some variety. So Zach feels more engaged. Or comment if I should spend way too much money and get a... What is it called? Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I think so. Okay. <laughs> get a $500 Buzz Lightyear model. I have all the tools. Well, I'll let you borrow them. You hear that, YouTube? I need a sponsorship. Yeah. I mean... Sponsor me. The Toy Sponsorize. Story toy costs, like, a whole week's salary. <laughs> Get you some. Get us some. Um, Get us some. I can't think of anything else. I've seen the new ones. I'm, I have three under my belt now. Three! I, yeah. Towards the end, I kind of was just snipping them off. I wasn't, like, using the hobby knife. I know. I was cutting corners. The razor blade. And I've completely stopped sanding. I think sanding, it just took the color off of it, too. So it didn't add to it. I don't know. Who knows? I think if you were sanding, you're probably planning to paint something, right? Yes. Do you sand it to make it smooth, or are you sanding, like, the entire surface to paint it? No, just smooth it out. Like... See right there? Yeah. That's where it was connected to the runner. So it has that... It has that rough part on the shoulder. Cutting corners! Yeah. So you're supposed to like sand it and I guess paint it? I don't know. Maybe not. <sighs> I think they look great. But maybe... maybe. Which one was your favorite? This one. The first one. Yeah. It has higher quality. I mean, and Death Side, he's supposed to be black. He's kind of blue. Yeah. Like navy blue. Yeah. Or 
kind of, yeah, blue, yeah. So probably one, two, and three of the models. Um, so, like, subscribe, comment, punch that like button, punch it hard, it. sister. Um, there's something else. Like, subscribe, comment, share. share. Share away. I don't share and I don't care. Famously, famously said by my grandmother. And after you do all those things, go wash your hands. <laughs> Coronavirus is real. Is it though? I don't know. But as a compulsive hand washer, I would appreciate if everybody else washed their hands like I do. And don't go to the library. It's filthy. Don't go anywhere. Ugh. It's I've, filthy. I've actually done that. And I recommend it. Done what? Nothing. Don't uh, go to the library. Um, I'm confused. Yeah. So, Gabrielle. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Hi, Gabrielle. And when, I say, when I'm saying anything to the audience to do something, Gabrielle, I'm telling you to do it. If there's something Zach says to do for the audience, he means for you to comment it. Not anybody else. Oh, I thought I was talking to Helga in Germany. No. Gabrielle was confused about the text or the comment the Wonder Falls to get the prize. She said, Oh, I didn't think that you meant me. Sava? <laughs> so she didn't. Even to this day, she has not commented to get her prize. Gabrielle! And you would have loved it. I was gonna buy you a box of Twixes. Is it Twix or Twixes? Twix. I think that's the plural. I'm gonna say Twixes because that's what I wanna say. And now you don't get any. Shame on you. Until next time, I'm Shelly Duvall. Comment. Wonder Falls. <laughs> She's not going to. All right. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Goodbye. Bye. Hope you find your dad. <laughs>